Hey guys, what's up? Something a little bit different here. Uh, those of you that have watched my videos for a while uh, may have seen last year where I did this uh, little update on uh, monarch butterflies. Kind of a little hobby of mine. In the, uh, in the summertime, I have plants planted here. This here is a butterfly weed, which is a type of milkweed. Um, I have plants here that are planted specifically for monarch butterflies to uh, lay their eggs on and have their young, the caterpillars, be eaten on them and hatch out. I'll take them upstairs once I find the caterpillars and I put them into a plastic tank and I hatch out all the butterflies that come out. Last year, God, I forget how many I hatched out. It had to be like, I think, over 60 of them. But I have two types of milkweed planted out here. I have this butterfly weed here, which has the smaller leaves on there. And these flowers are very attractive to all different butterflies. I, I see different ones on here. I have some yarrow here. This is just a plant to uh, attract them. But the main thing I have over here is regular wild milkweed. Um, I planted this several years ago and as you can see it actually it comes up kind of at random in different places it's gonna come up places where you don't want it but this plant is the most important plant to the monarch butterfly that you can that you can plant all these other flowers are here to uh, you know entice butterflies to come and visit the area however you will not have monarchs around or have successful breeding without this plant, this milkweed plant. And uh, I've been keeping an eye on things. I have seen one or two adult monarch butterflies around here but um, over the last couple of days. But I'm starting to notice something that I'm pretty sure is a good sign. Um, I haven't seen any caterpillars yet. Usually towards the end of July, which we're getting close to, is when I see them here uh, in my patch. However, I did notice something here, and it's going to be a little bit hard to see. I'm going to try to focus up. I am pretty sure... Let me see if it'll focus. There it is. That little dot right there. As a matter of fact, I know for certain that's a monarch butterfly egg. They lay their eggs in the bottom of the milkweed leaves and then that, that's going to hatch soon um, I'm not sure of the exact time but I know it's not that it's not that much that's going to hatch out and there's going to be a tiny little monarch caterpillar on it and after that those caterpillars will grow very quickly and that's when I take them when they're oh I don't know the adult size ones can get as, as big as your pinky uh, before they they go into a chrysalis, but I'll come out every day and I'll start collecting all of the caterpillars that I can find <clears throat> and I bring them upstairs I have a, a tank for them and I feed them fresh leaves of milkweed and They uh, they'll attach themselves to the top of the tank stay up there for I don't know maybe a week and a half or so um, and Turn into adult monarchs and then I release them as they hatch out of my tank this is actually, by doing what I'm doing, um, I think you actually have a greater success rate in uh, seeing all of the, or most of the caterpillars turn into monarchs. Um, I've seen several caterpillars that were still outside here last year that uh, were eaten. Um, they were kind of shriveled up like the juice was sucked out of them. So there is some natural predators of the caterpillars, although they are um, they're usually not too, they're usually not picked on by like birds and stuff. Um, they kind of know to stay away from them, but they do have other bugs that will prey on them. Oh, I don't know if this is something right here. Yes, it is. Look at that. Here we go. First one of the year. I'm going to try to zoom up on this. This is a monarch. So this is an egg that just hatched. Pardon my part of my camera work here, but right there. That is a baby monarch uh, caterpillar. I knew we were gonna 
start seeing them here. Now he's going to eat on that leaf and he's going to get a lot bigger. I'm going to actually leave him go right now. I'm not going to collect this one. It's very small. I mean, that thing is very small, but there you go. So I said usually around the end of July, I just happened to come out and notice the egg mat, uh, the, the eggs laid on here. So with seeing that one tiny one right there, um, we know that the season's about to start. And let me just look a little bit more. Okay, that's the one right there that I see, and you can see it's on the bottom of the leaf. That's the one that I just spotted. You have to look very close, as you can see. I mean, they're very tiny. I mean, for comparison, there's my finger. And you see how tiny that thing is. But they'll get as big as your pinky when they're adults. And it won't take too long either. That'll go from that little tiny size. Within the next couple of days, you'll see that thing get very big, very quick. But... All right, so that is my little monarch project. So we got the first one of the year. And uh, hopefully we're going to be successful this year and raise at least 50 of them. But I will do some more videos uh, as time goes by to show you the progress of what I'm doing. So the next uh, couple of weeks now, you, I'll, I'll do a couple of progress videos on the monarchs. And... Uh, <clears throat> If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I know at least one of you is out there. Uh, you'll do a shameless plug, but Mike from uh, MA Lyman 24, he's mentioned it a couple of times that he's planted some milkweed and he's he can't wait to do this with his kids. It's an awesome thing to do with the kids. Um, kind of educational, but something neat, you know. Uh, so Mike, they're they're coming out. It's about time now. So get out there, start looking at your milkweed. And you should start finding them. All right, guys. Like I said, a little bit different than the metal detecting videos. I do have another metal detecting video. I'm going to get out in the next day or so. And I'm still going as much as I can. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you soon with an update on this. Take care, guys.